Hello, in this video I would like to focus on a programming time. We have other videos that shows the overall programming steps that goes into the details about timing, setting up uh, timer functions, trigger modes, output and so forth. But in this video I would like to focus more on the timing. Um, since we have two different modes, we have the normal and hours, minutes, seconds mode. Uh, so what I have here, first of all, I have the sample circuit from the, ma from the manual. It's basically the timer connected to the power supply, to the 9 volt battery in this case, and output goes to the LED light. And the configuration wires are connected to the optional configuration board, which are just two buttons that uh, connect those two wires to the ground. The option one, uh, I'm sorry, the button one is the white, and the button two is the green. So the default configuration mode is a normal, default timer time configuration mode is normal and that means that we would connect the white to the ground for a period of time that we want the timer to be set. So right now I have the timer set to function 5 which is cycling and uh, the T1 set to about half a second. So if, if you want to change that I'm going to push the wire, I'm going to push the button 1 and 2 together, supply the power, wait until light comes on and release the buttons. So we're in the programming mode now now to change the timing, we just need to connect the white to the ground for a period of time. So one, two, uh, and that's how we set the timing to a two. If you want to change it at the same time, you can change it. You just hold one more time for a second. So um, the uh, T1 and the T2 is the button number two. And the same thing here, you hold it for one second. You release, the, you shut the power off to the timer and uh, turn the power on. And now we have the on and off cycle equal about one second. Uh, we went through the programming of the timing. Since we don't need to change the functions and everything else, we just end it on the timing mode. You go into the programming mode, configure timing and shut off the power. And that's it. So if you want to change it one more time, we in a, no, in a normal mode, we just connect the going to the programming mode, change uh, the first timing, let's say, to half a second, and the other one to two seconds. And then we supply the power, and we have this flashing for half a second and pausing for two second light. So that all works great if you need to change the timing, if you're setting up your timing for a couple seconds uh, or a couple minutes, you can also connect the uh, uh, switch instead of the buttons and uh, turn the switch on and uh, you know let it sit like this for an hour or or two and configure it that way but it's time consuming and if you need to configure it for a couple days obviously that would be a, a challenge so for that we have the hours and minutes second modes uh, mode Okay, so in our spin seconds mode, we're going to work with seven parameters and they will be all summed up. So if you need to change, if you need to set up your timing uh, to uh, 22 hours and 10 seconds, then we will set up one third of the seconds to zero, seconds to 10, minutes to zero, minutes by 10 to zero, hours to two, and hours multiplied by 10 to two also, and hours by 100 zero. So it will sum up and will make it 22, 20, 22, and 10 seconds. The timing could be, could be slightly different because the oscillator in the timer is not very precise as the watch uh, oscillators. So if you set up the timing for a long time and you time it and it's a little off, then you can adjust it for that period of time, make it still a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger, larger. So how to program it? Uh, first of all, we'll need to go into the programming mode We'll go to the uh, pro uh, parameter 4 and change it to hours, minutes, seconds. Then we shut the timer off, go back into the programming mode, and now we can set up the timing T1 and T2 with the hours, minutes, second modes. So let's do that. The timer currently set to the function 5, flashing with a half a second uh, on and about 2 seconds uh, off. So let's uh, change this timing. So the first thing we need to do is we go into the programming and we need to change the parameter uh, 4 to hours minutes seconds so hold two buttons supply the power release the buttons so we don't need to uh, change the timing so 
we, we are going to skip it, go to step number two, functions. Functions, we don't need to change it. If you need to change a function, but we're going to skip the function. We're going to skip the output. You can set up to normal or the reversed. And then we're now in uh, step number four and we're gonna push the green uh, or the second button uh, to set to set up the hours minutes uh, hours minutes seconds and we're gonna turn the power off we're going to back to the programming mode hold two button supply power and now we can work with the with the seven parameters so for the timing for the timer uh, for the T1 we're going to use the white wire or the first button uh, one thirds of the second so if we need to set up to one thirds of the, of the seconds we'll push it once let's say we need one thirds of the second and then we would uh, save it by holding the same button for a longer period of time and the light will blink fast tells us that it saved it and move to the next parameter which is seconds uh, so we want to let's say we change it to a two seconds so we push it once, twice, it's a two, so change seconds to a two, save it. Goes to minutes, we need to, s we, uh, minutes set up to zero, so we just skip it. Minutes by 10, uh, again, nothing, we just skip it by holding the button and watch until the lights flashes fast. Hours to zero, hours by 10 to zero. And hours by 100 to zero and at the end it will light come on for two seconds tells us that the cycle is off now you reach the last parameter now once you reach it that's when it actually saves all the all the in uh, uh, all the timing into the internal memory so you have to program all the seven parameters uh, so if you want to change it you can go back and uh, again push the uh, button one to change it but we set up to to two seconds at this point uh, let's set up t2 to five seconds so we're gonna uh, skip one thirds of the seconds just hold the button until the light blinks seconds we're going to set up to five three four five then hold it to uh, to confirm it minutes to zero minutes by 10 to zero hours to zero hours by 10 to 0 and hours by 100 to 0 comes on and it tells us that that uh, that our cycle of setting up there is uh, done so if we don't need to change the, we can we can go and change the. you can go and change the timing function by just holding again you go to next step by pushing two buttons together and you can change the timing we don't need to do that so we're just going to power off the uh, timer and uh, turn it back on and it's uh, on for about two seconds and off for about five seconds so here's how you can go and uh, then uh, change your timing to let's say if you want you know the maximum is obviously 999 hours and uh, uh, minutes by 10 uh, so you know max all those parameters up the minutes could only go to 60 seconds could only go to 60 everything else could go to up to uh, up to 10 and one third of the seconds could go up to 30. Uh, so it's about 40 something days and um, if you need to change it you go back into the programming mode and uh, again set up your timing you push the uh, button one for the T1 and let's say let's say you want to change it to uh, uh, one second so we're in seconds mode now we're saving it now you still need to go through all this uh, parameters and I don't need to count it because because I know that the light will come on for two seconds at the at the end of it okay so it comes on so now it's saved and i can release the power and supply the power and it stays on for one second and off for about five uh, 
Now, if you want to change it back, so if you set up this way now, you decided you want to go back to the normal mode, what you need to do is uh, we're going back into the programming mode. Release the buttons. Uh, we're going to skip the timing. We're going to skip the functions. We're going to skip the output. And now we are going to change the timing, uh, time programming mode into to a normal and we push the button one. And then we release the power and uh, connect it back. It's still going to cycle the same way, so it didn't change it, it didn't change our original timing. Uh, but what uh, the next time you go into the programming mode, now you can change it uh, back to the in a standard way by holding the uh the one button for a period of time and holding the second button for a period of time so about five seconds on and off supply the power and uh, the time will uh, be whatever you set so here it is uh, as far as the our smith second mode uh, let us know if you have any questions if we need to make it more detailed uh, and subscribe thank you so much